Hello folks and welcome to Groshnin. This is a idyllic German map. This is created by Nick. It is 145.56 megabytes to download. And there is seven required mods, starting off with the composite machine sheds by Vertex Design and Nigels. The heavy duty shelf by Durminderer. Or yeah, Mindener. Apologies there. Your farm package by 20mm Normandy. The Dutch ship pack by 20mm Normandy and Real Farmer. The half timber farm buildings by Vertex Design. The Furrigan farm set by Castor. And the Bell Storage by Castor. So, yeah, this is a little map. And, yeah, description goes as following. Welcome to Groschenin, a idyllic village near Gottingen, and this is sort of based in sort of central Germany around Lower Saxony, if I'm correct, if memory serves me right. But yeah, the surrounding landscape is characterized by small and large hills. Here in this enchanting region, there are many opportunities for agricultural activities, whether it's small equipment or impressive large machines. There are 76 fields and meadows, ranging sizes are from 0.1 hectares to 39.3 hectares, so that is a huge field. There are 5 farms, 1 cow farm, 1 BGA, 2 production, 6 cell stations, own AI license plates, livestock dealer, customised solid type map for precision farming DLC, 5 new fruit varieties, we'll look at, look at those in a sec. And four of those are for the Combine Harvester, so that is Rye, Tritical, Spelt, and Fieldgrass. And there's one for Melwer, uh, which is the Green Rye, so let's have a look at the PDA. So yeah, here we are in the PDA, and you can see we do have some new crop types, like, like Blues and that, so... So the sort of beige ones here are the Rye, sort of a yellowish beige. The sort of like FS22 kind of colour blue, that light blue. That is critical. Spelt is the dull, very dull grey, I'll call that. And yeah, I don't think there's no green rye. So yeah, green rye would be a very faintish greenish blue. And then you got fill grass. And again, from what I can see, there is nothing planted. And yeah, we'll have a look at field grass because when you compare it to your typical field grass, like meadows now, or even planted grass, there is a discrepancy. So, yep, yeah, most of your farms is going to be all the way up here. So, you can buy this top region here, which is like all the forestry areas as well. That is for 1.4 mil. On new farmer modes, you do start off with a bit plot AT, that's all your equipment, your farmhouse, your field 13, and field 2. Slot count, so if we have a look, is 1113, and that goes down to 1016 if you are new, new farm manager or start from scratch. And yeah, that does mean how to get rid of all the equipment because as soon as you load up on Farm Manager or Software Scratch, you still have all the equipment. All of these sheds are still here. And yeah, and I'm assuming since these are the modded ones. So yeah, if you want to, you can get rid of all of these sheds and that. Yeah, the composite machine sheds and that. So yeah. What do you start with on new farm mode? Well, first of all, I've noticed in the yard, you do have a couple of bags of seeds. got the heavy stack and that, or the heavy juice stack, which has got all your implements. We'll see if there's any sheds. Got open here, nope. And yeah, also there are no collectibles on the map. There we go. Storage area over here, which you do have another bag of seeds, so that is three bags of seeds. 
terms of equipment, you got two tractors, start off with, Defend Fire 311, Destroyer 8150, the Rosal Smash Nova 330 Combine Officer, the Rudolph TDK 301 RP Trader, the Rosal Smash Powerstring 500, a Horse Tirano 3FX Cultivator, a Agrisem Combi Plow Gold 3 meters Subsolider, the Nordstein HK25 NS3030 Cedar, got the Amazon ZA TS3200 for a spreader, a Hoyer front loader, and you got a pallet fork, universe bucket, bell spike, got a header trader, and you do have two ACO weights, a 2.3 ton weight and a 1.1 ton weight. So yep, yeah, I think what we're going to do is head to the shop, which is just over here, and I'm going to get a pickup for the mat tour, and also add some money in. So yep, yeah, here we are we're at the store, we've added some money in. So yep, yeah, what I've gone and done is I've gone and purchased all the farms, so you've got one farm here, another farm here, so the first farm is sheep. It's got a fuel tank, we'll have a look at that. Second farm is a cow farm. That area is there for the bakery. Got a farmer's market. Got another farm for, with chicken coops and beehives. Obviously got the main farm here we start off with. And got a screen mill. That's a cafe. I do have a bit of a bigger farm over here, which you've got chickens, and yeah, we'll have a look at that, and then BGA will have a look at what the money for. So yeah, here we are at the store, so let's go and head over here. Just casually jump fences, so this is going to be your trigger for all your needs in the, work in the workshop and all that. And yeah, perhaps we head over here, this actually, actually is a workshop trigger, so... Apparently there's access from the main road. Ain't too shabby, so just down here. Pretty large space, actually. Yeah, actually... Out of the road. Yeah, all things considering, is actually pretty decent, so... I think what we'll do is, we'll head out of here. And we'll head out left to these farms and we'll come back down go to the farms on the right including the BG and all that and then we'll head down and then hop across to our other farm down here pig farm and go around the ship down there and then yep yeah, we'll head back up and that'll be the map tour done terms with contracts of course there are contracts everywhere and I've just gone and accepted a couple just as a demonstration of the prices you can get. So, 71 grand for cultivating 52, and 36, 36 grand for fertilizing field 34. So, f that is 34 over there. And for the massive field of 52, that costs 1.6 mil. And like, the prices in that, in general, are pretty expensive. But for the best part, yeah, around like a couple of hundred thousand you need. There are smaller, cheaper fields like 39, and then you have 15 grand, you get these itty bitty fields, 8 grand for that. So, yeah, you could go from 8 grand to 1.6 mil, and yet to buy the sort of outer areas of the buildings and what, a little bit of houses. That will cost you 1.4 mil. So anyway, so let's head out of here. Actually, can we go out this way? I wonder. Looks like you can. So yeah, here we are, we've got your debris crusher. And here it's gonna be yeah, your main cell point for the pallets and that. And your liquids. Oh no, sorry. Yep, yeah, sorry, a brief for a moment there. So, 
yeah, this is where you dump your pallet stuff. So if we look at prices and that, so yeah, agriculture trade bulk materials. And as we head down to your production stuff, so yeah, agricultural trade pallets for like your eggs and that. So if it comes in pallets, then it could be sold. Also, yeah, liquids, so that's your milk. And yeah, just in general, like we look at the prices. Of course, we're on easy mode, so yeah, 1600 at most for the rye, 1100 for the trips call. 1300 for spelt, 1200 for the green rye, and the saccharin, 1500 for field grass. And in terms with the seasonal growth, so yeah, that looks like pretty much base game to me. But yeah, for the likes of the custom crops, so spelts, you can have it in March, so spring spelts, or in the winter, September and October. And then for the critical spelts, Spelt and Green Rye are all planted around September and October. The Green Rye doesn't take too too long to get ready. Fill grass is similar to grass all year round pretty much. Apart from the harvesting, you can only harvest that from April to November. Which realistically makes sense, so yeah, overall not too bad. And I was really thinking, yeah, if you can just dump it here. But no, not head around. So it's head out of here. So yeah, we're just heading there from where we've left. I know, it actually could drive through that. My bad. I forgot about that other door, so yeah. Ooh, okay, that's my bit. Let's not run over any locals. And yeah, so got the main farm area to the right. So let's go and look at the left here. And yeah, it's a simple, beautiful German map. The paving is a bit left to be desired, I think, but yeah, it just looks off it does. It doesn't yeah, to me personally. Like the race curb in that effect, that I don't have an issue with. It's more of the sort of blobbiness of it. In fact, that's the only way I could describe it is blobbiness. And that's not me being disrespectful or rude. That's just me being honest. So here we are at the bakery. And I am pretty sure these are all base game stuff. Yep, yeah, 2 to 1, 2,000 years a month, or 2,000 cycles, yep. Yeah. So yeah, you do have a couple of placeable um, production chains already. So things like the bakery and I think the dairy. We'll have a look at that as we go around. But yeah, it's all base game stuff. No custom productions or anything like that. So, but yeah, we'll head up here. Turn that to help menu off. Oh, oh, I'll say that about the blobbiness of the curbs, not having issues with it. Yes, okay, I'm using the modded pickup here, but you shouldn't, yeah, that shouldn't be happening, like, hmm. Anyway, so here we are, we're at one of our main farms. So yeah, this is the cow one. So yeah, you can tell, got the feed robots and all that. And I'm pretty sure this is all base game stuff, so let's go and have a look. Our dollar box is going to be over here. So, 80 cows. Um, go to our animals. Yeah, it's literally the exact same base game. Okay, the outside boundaries in that in drone mode is... Ugh. Also, actually, what is over there? So... Where are we to? We're up here. So that is... Oh, your bell storage. Yeah, I didn't recognise that. Ah, it's one of those bell storage, storages. Yeah, so... Yeah, not too bad. Of course, yeah, I ain't gonna go over too much details with these animal pens since they are... 
base game in every way, shape, or form. You're not being slightly adjusted with capacities and that. Got your your heat air to your left. I got your composite machine shed. Yeah, I think this was size from the government subsidiary mod. Sure, there's a light switch here somewhere. There we go. Oh no, that's closing the gate. But yeah, besides from the government subsidiary mods, I am pretty sure this was the first mod we had on FS22. But yeah, a little bit of a weird fact there, but anyways. So we're going to head out of here and continue going right. So, once again, let's get rid of that. And that's the thing, I think at the moment, the things I have to let down this map is the record mods I'm not a fan of, especially all the Dutch mods we seem to always need on maps and that, but besides from that, it's just the, the blobbiness of the curves. But yeah, to get that sorted will require an update, a huge update and a new game save and that, so... But anyway, so you got your sheep barn over there, got your more sheds and that. Green silo, fuel tank, more storage and that. Got your workshop trigger here. Vehicle workshop, more sheds and that. And you do have some fillable tanks, so that is solid fertilizer. 60,000 liters. I'm assuming this is seeds. Mineral feed, yep. So do as you wish with that. And yeah, so yeah, large pressure tank, silo, where he looked at. But yeah, like that image. Apologies, oh, there I had to. Oh, let's have a quick drink there. Yeah, what was it 10 o'clock in the morning now? It is. Yeah, I had a couple of hours for keeping that after spending what? Three hours doing that mod review video. Including the, not including the editing and then doing every map tour. Having issues with oh, rendering it and that and uploading it to YouTube. But yeah, I forgot the story now, so. Yeah, got your fields one and two there. But yeah, as I was saying, like, this image here, that is absolutely beautiful. And possibly going to be the thumbnail with some way shape or form. But yeah, look, you got like huge, vast open fields and like the feeling of it feels like bigger than a 2x map. I know this is a 2x map, I'm pretty sure, based on the coordinates down below of the little mini map we've got. But yeah, when I load in, and I was like, say, oh, like 70 hectares? 70 hectares and just general going around now and yeah it feels a lot bigger so yeah you can have small equipment if you wish but then also but yeah then also sorry has to turn discord notifications off there and yeah so you can do big farming or small farming and if you want to you can like get these fields and like merge them together so I did say he was going to go right in that, but hey, this is just the flow of the map tour. We can finish off back at the main store area in that, and the BGA. And yeah, again, like, similar to, uh, what was it, more submission in that, like, when I did the map tour in that, the average mod hub rating was something like 2.7. As of recording, it's gone up to 3.1. But still, like, I get why people do have a dislike into the map. Especially when you compare it to Evergreen Valley. Like, this doesn't hold much against Evergreen Valley, but it does hold its own in other ways, in terms of that Germanic beauty. I do love Germany now. Like, I am planning on going to Germany sometime this year, hopefully, to see my German bros and that. All things being good, so yeah, head down to the Amadeus ship. 
And yeah, just, yeah, a little German village. And yeah, I'm gonna be, hopefully, if I get my bike sorted, tour on my motorcycle. Worst case scenario, I'll just get a flight over and that. Especially the man of all drinking and other things. I'm gonna be up too, so yeah. Well, anyways, here we are at the animal dealership. So yeah. Got your five animal pens. Also, this is going to be your bell cell point. And yeah, next we'll head out of here. We'll head to our pig farm. So yeah, up the road, literally. Turn right, and it's on left. And then yeah, continue on the road. Go past 52. And then yeah, head back up north, and then we'll be good. Back on the road again, and yeah, so, oops, let's not hit traffic here. So yeah, here we are at the pig farm. And yeah, I do tend to knock on the, all these Dutch mods we tend to be requiring nowadays, with a lot of these maps. Just having a little look around. Got a seat trigger in that here. Got your silo and that, input, output. Just guessing that is like your heat off and that, right? By the looks of things, yeah. So that's your heat off. Turn on shed lights. And yeah, yeah, as I say, yeah, I do tend to knock on these German Dutch mods. And there is a reason for that. It's overused in that, like. Yep, I get it. If a modder uses a asset from another modder, it's got to be disclosed. And that, that, I do not have an issue with. Ooh, an old wood chip blower almost. Yeah, it's got a wood chip blower in a way. Something like that. Oh, what was I saying? But yeah, anyway, dollar box. A hundred picks. I'm going to our picks here. That's going to be. The Fergun, yeah, farm set. But yeah, it does work. Yeah, I ain't gonna fall it. it does work. And once again, I do tend to criticize the maps where items are just placed. But this, this ain't one of those, Chief. Like, I mean, on C8. But yeah, it's just. Why is it always the same Normandy mods now? Or Dutch mods by. 20mm Normandy. Again, it's a little gripe in that, don't get me wrong. But still, like, come on, bro. But, anyways, back on the road, and uh, yeah, so we we'll head up north. Okay, some iffy grass textures are in the road, so yeah, we we'll head, yeah, past 72. Yeah, and there's lots of little meadows, actually. Yeah, let's have a little look at those meadows, because... Yeah, I don't just go all bash, bash, fresh and all that. Get this map all done, that. The video comes out when it comes out, like... I was so hoping to get this done last night, but... Well, I say last night, I mean, early hours in the morning, but... Come half five, six o'clock, I was absolutely shattered, being up for 24 hours not an issue for me, but yeah, just recently just hit me a little bit differently in ways and that. And yeah, combined with the issues with editing and uploading like, software I'm using was being a pain in the ass. So yeah, here we are on the meadows. And actually, is this field grass or just like meadow? Yeah, it's just grass. And you do obviously have grass fields up here. And yeah, there's plenty of opportunities for grass contracts in that. And yeah, I can't remember what I was saying, but... So yeah, got a little bit of, like, again, not too much forestry, but... You do have little holdouts for forestry in that. And then yeah, it's across, yeah, more grass fields in that. So it's one of those things, you can get set up and that, do 
in a way, like a sort of a vintage survival esque kind of thing, like sort of small net. And work your way big. But yeah, apart from that, can't really fault it. Like, I, yeah, I said it in the map description. You could do big, big farming and small farming. Uh, yeah, like 52. Let's just have a little hop across here. Shame it's been. Oh, oh yeah, like, this is a massive field. You get a lot of grain off of it. It's like, seriously. Oh, yeah, but I did complain about the map boundaries, but when it's all rendered in, it ain't too bad. It's only when you get to, like, drone mode in that, or construction mode. Which is where then you start seeing the issues, but anyways, as we're on the home stretch now, we we'll head to the BGA because I'll go look at the BGA. Never know, may offer something different. I have not have a look yet, so I think there is one more farm to look at as well up here. So yeah, we overtake this car. Yeah, so you got the main. Well, it's not the main farm, the mega farm over here. Oops, and a crash. Actually, it's surprising I haven't crashed too much on this map tour so far. So, yeah, gates are here. I was like, like having the flows. Once again, we yeah, have seed, mirror feed. And that is your liquid fertilizer 173,000 litres. Your vehicle workshop area. And yeah, you've got pretty much like one of the most popular mods on FS22 here, the Dutch sheds and that, and then like those ones exactly. Also got another workshop trigger there, so we've got two workshop areas on the map. So if you're doing something like multiplayer now, having two workshop triggers is a good thing. And you've got your massive side, side over here. That's one of the things, if you don't like this, if you hate these Dutch buildings, you can remove them all. Yeah, you can remove them all, get some decent money back. I'll say, I'll, personally, I'll say keep lights, keep the silos and that, personally. Can get rid of the parking area. There is some bicycles somewhere. So yeah, I was looking for the uh, bicycles. So yeah, I was curious what that was. Seat trigger? Yeah. Alright. So yeah, maybe removing everything's not the most ideal sort of thing, but it's one of those things with plenty of mods on FS22. You can get very creative. So next we'll head up here and go to the Oh, yes, plan. And yeah, that is just up here. As mentioned earlier on, it does cost one and a half mil. I did have a look off the cost of it. But I've not purchased it or anything. Yeah, almost missing the entrance. Let's go to here. So yeah, this is a one megawatt biogas plant. The exact same BJ style compared to the one used on Evergreen Valley. And this is your like gen generic 1 megawatt BJ that tends to get used on a lot of maps I've seen. So yeah, 1.558 mil. Have a little look and not as oh no, sorry, yep. Yeah, do get quite a bit of methane. Yeah, up to 600 litres off, or 2,500 litres off digestate, 5,000 litres off methane, and then a little bit of electricity. And yeah, this is your genetic one to tend to get used in that. It's 24 cycles a month, £606 per cycle. And I think on that note, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go have a look at some of cell points. So, yeah, got the cafe in that. Got the family Schleimann. Is it Schleimann? I'm not sure. I, think I am also trying to learn German that. Like, 
It's one of those things like being a Brit and just being English speaking in general, you do have that in a way that automatic sense of entitlement of English English is the most popular language used and thus far everyone must use English, but especially when you go to a different country now, if you like Germans tend to be quite friendly. Yep, they're very firm, very straight to the point. In general, obviously I'm, I am generalizing a bit. Yep, exact same base game. I should know, is that slight variations? I'm not sure, but very similar to base game production rates for Green Mill. But yeah, like with German people and that, it's quite, it's quite firm, it's black. It is a bit more black and white, there's no ambigu ambiguity, uh, ambiguity, whatever it's called. Ambiguity, yeah, I'm not going to try to do that anymore. Ambiguity, yeah, something like that. But yeah, what was I saying again? Yeah, learn German language, and I like try to learn little phrases here and there. Obviously, farm con and that, whether or not I'll be going this year, I don't know, like... It really depends on my personal situation. But yeah, so we're at the cafe. And the calf, calf or cafe, that would take. <coughs> so yeah, strawberries, tomatoes, and all that. Like your flour and that, all good. So yeah, obviously, different cell points take different items. And yeah, even though, like, yeah, again. Nothing too much shop home about. It's a simple home good standard map. And yeah, this is where you'll take like your eggs and that, so you'll carry your eggs over. Or put it onto like, a small trailer, maybe. You wouldn't want to use like big equipment on that. But anyways, I think that is everything covered. Yep, yeah, I think so. Unless I'm mistaken. Unless I'm missing anything, which I don't think so. Nope. So yeah, final thoughts. Good map. Iffy on the curbs and that, but apart from that, solid map. Heavy usage of the Dutch popular mods and that on on the in-game mod hub, but it's it's what it is with that. Can't really fault it too much. So yeah, iron day is what it is. And if I had to rate it, so yeah, like rating wise, I don't know. Like, obviously, two and a half out of five is basic average nat, but this is above that. It's beautiful, simplistic. Again, I do have issues with the curbs nat. Also, you do have your sawmill up here, which I do apologize on forgetting. Or your timber cells, at least. Is there a sawmill here? Don't think so, but yeah. Timber cells, but no production for sawmill, but again, you can place one down as you wish. But yeah. I'll say three to three and a half out of five. I'm not sure. Three and a half, I'll say. Yep, yeah, screw it. I'll say three and a half out of five. So yeah, it's good in that. And yeah, it's above average. Which, at the end of the day, that's all I ask for a map, it's above average and not shit. That, that's my general frank TLDR opinion on maps. As long as it ain't shit, as long as it's somewhat interesting, I'm a, I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy man with that. But, anyways, that's where we'll leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed this map. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want shares, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for everything you do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.